My next guest is a serious composer, and last evening, one of his compositions made its world premiere right here in New York City at Carnegie Hall. The name of the piece performed was Sonata for Piano and Dog. Please welcome, ladies and gentlemen, composer Kirk Newrock. Nice to see you, sir. Uh, congratulations from what I uh, gather. Uh, your uh, performance last night was a, uh, quite a success. Quite a success indeed, yes. Thank you. Uh, explain to us exactly what a sonata for piano and dog is. It seems fairly evident. Well, it's rather evident, I guess. It's modeled after a traditional classical sonata. It's actually for three dogs, despite the fact that the title is singular. It's for piano and three dogs. It's in four movements. It's 25 minutes long. And the dogs howl, bark, sing, growl variously in the midst of the piece. Uh, do they do this on cue or...? Well, uh, not exactly on cue, but there is uncanny resemblance from time to time of how it comes out. It's slightly different each time. Uh, how did you select these animals? Are they all yours? No, they're not mine at all. None of them is mine. Uh, they were auditioned. I had an audition process. Yeah. And uh, how many dogs did you see before you got the right ones? 32. 32 dogs? 32. Uh, and you used, you said three? Three. Now, was this a sellout last night? It was not only a sellout, we turned away quite a few people. Now, that's a lot of money, isn't it? Well... Yes. Now, uh, do, do, uh, are the dogs, uh, they get a cut of this? The dog owners uh, are, receive a fee. The do okay. Yes. And uh, now the dog owners also help out in the, in the performance. Yes, they do. What indeed. do they do? Well, each of them does a different thing. Uh, one of the dog owners who's not with us tonight plays the harmonica in the ear of the dog ever so softly. Another of the dog owners sings softly into the dog's ear and occasionally just raises an index finger ever so subtly. And uh, the third dog owner uh, does not have to do much to his dog because his dog sings when he hears one of the other dogs sing. I see. Uh, how were they last night? Were they nervous? Did they perform okay? Well, Any trouble? I don't think they were nervous. There was some trouble, however, and it's, it was peculiar because we performed the work several times prior to the premiere just as a work in progress little sort of low profile performance and we never had any problems at all and Emily who comes out and sings the first movement last night in front of a large audience did not sing mm. nothing no sound came out and for one reason or another the audience enjoyed it they laughed and clapped yeah. they thought that it was a goof of some yeah, sort yeah. and when the movement was over I thought for a moment and rather than going on to the second movement I said to the audience you may or may not believe this but this has never happened before uh, we'd like to perform the first movement again for you because I feel confident Emily will come through, and in fact she did. We Great. started again from scratch. And we are going to hear part of that work performed last night here tonight. We are indeed. Right. All right, Kirk, uh, go over to the piano. Do you need any uh, introduction? Will the dogs come out? Okay. Kirk Newrock, ladies and gentlemen.
Unbelievable, isn't it? Very nice. Very nice. Thank you very much. Thank you. Kirk, Thank nicely you, done. Thank you. Pleasure to be Thank here. Thank you very much, sir. We'll be right back with Dr. John. Very, very impressive.